Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great pleasure to say for the 10th time, the biggest, baddest buddies in the world are back. We hope you enjoyed the opening. We've got the best lineup that we've ever had in our 10 year history. It's amazing looking back over 10 years, thinking that this show's come as far as it has. 128 athletes from 29 countries. Tonight's our best lineup ever. We've got five Arnold Classic winners here tonight with Dexter Jackson having won it three times and Kai Green twice. We've got a Mr Olympia on stage for the first time in Australian bodybuilding history in a Grand Prix and that's Dexter tonight. We've basically brought the best of the Arnold Classic to you here tonight and it's going to be a fantastic show. The guys are in better shape than they were in a week ago in Columbus and we really are in for a treat. Kai. It's just been a real pleasure having you here in Australia. I, I tried to, I tried to give you this little intro when you come out, but it, it went for five minutes because you're an incredible person, one of the most amazing people I've met in my 20 years in bodybuilding. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and the hearts of all of our fans for sharing what you've got, your special gift, and you're a one gifted dude <laughs> for sharing that with all of us tonight, for making such a difficult journey to be out here and, and do what you did. We just want to thank you, Kai Green. You won a whole lot of fans. Our next athlete, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if we should call him an athlete or a warrior. He just won't take no for an answer. He's, he's incredible. He defies all logic. Four weeks, three weeks before the Mr. Olympia last year in late September, getting out of his truck, tore his knee to pieces, shredded it. Had to pull out of the Mr. Olympia, which he trained all year for. He won the Arnold Classic last year. Trained for six months for the Olympia. Imagine how devastating that would be You're in the condition, shape of your life, ready to go head to head with Phil Heath. You just obliterate your knee. So they put him into hospice. So you're going to have surgery immediately. He said, well, let's do it. And they said, well, you're not going to walk for a while and forget about lifting weights for a long time and it'll be 12 months before you even think about doing a squat. You know what he said? He said, no, nah, to hell with that. And he went home to his wife that night and said, I'm going to do the Arnold Classic again in six months' time. So it's impossible. He said, no, we're going to do it. We're going to get together. We're going to plan everything. We're going to, we're going to make this work. I do this on my terms. So I think three, four days after the operation, he went back to the gym and started working on his upper body. And when he got the best legs in bodybuilding, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. And when you see what he's done with his upper body, I think it was. He defied all logic, ladies and gentlemen. He fought tooth and nail. And the most incredible thing is, he won the Arnold Classic two weeks ago when they said he wouldn't even train. So two times Arnold Classic champion, second place in the Mr. Olympia. He's done more with his body than anyone and he just keeps fighting. This guy will never give up. He's from Texas, ladies and gentlemen. That's what their spirit's all about. He's representing the United States of America. He is the current Arnold Classic champion, ladies and gentlemen. Let's raise a roof for Mr. Branch Warren. Well, it seems to be the current sentiment because I've been asking everyone, where's bodybuilding at? And everyone goes, well, yeah. Phil's kind of got it covered at the moment. And that's people like Rich Kaspari and, and right. Sean Ray and former champions, Hall of Fame bodybuilders, Bev and I were talking. Right. Um, everyone, well, yeah, <coughs> Phil's kind of, because you've got everything. You, and you're a great, a great ambassador for the product. I think, you know, you, you can go on talk shows, you can engage with people and, and have great conversations. You can be a great role model for people mm. um, and you work hard at it. And you and I talk about business stuff. We get on the right. phone and... We could talk. Uh, in yeah. fact, I've got to think that it was just a few weeks ago and I'd just about given up on this whole idea. I'm trying to sign pros. No one's calling back and trying to put this whole expo together. I was driving out to the gym in Dandenong where I'd taken Phil before and I'll give Phil a call. And I sat in the car park at Dandenong, I think, for 40 minutes. Yeah, you know, yeah, and you're yeah. just like, come on, dude, this is going to be awesome. You're going to get this done. And, mm -hmm. and just really said, come on, you've got to dig down. Where are you at? And we had a really good business mm -hmm. chat. And I've got to thank you for that because I'd just lift it up after that day and got going again. No, I appreciate it. I mean, many of you guys know that Tony's, you know, done an amazing thing for bodybuilding here in Australia, but, you know, he actually, you know, pounds the pavement here, but also in the States when he gets a chance to. I mean, he's the one that's literally calling, uh, you know, all these athletes to do his show. I mean, he's not afraid to, to get on the phone and make things happen. And uh, he's been able to give, you know, a, a lot of these athletes uh, an opportunity like never before.